Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And may the cringe be with you. Yep. Always. Uh, I have to give a hat tip to Steven, who put this up on Twitter. The High Republic, they've released the first chapter of The High Republic. Yeah, it was out yesterday. Uh, the first book, I guess, is called The Light of the Jedi. And it's, it's my God, it is some serious cringe. It is everything you'd expect it to be with the people in charge of Star Wars right now. And more. And, oh, yeah, and more. And more. So they've only got one uh, chapter up. It's Charles Soule or Soleil. He writes for Marvel Comics. He's doing this book. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the uh, High Republic concept, it uh, caused a bit of controversy a couple months ago when they announced it because it seemed like they were focusing more on identity politics than they were on telling a good story. And this isn't just, you know, us saying that. They literally had a whiteboard that had diversity listed over good storytelling. And that was actually on their whiteboard. And dinosaurs. And Well, that was in a different column, but yes, dinosaurs. <laughs> Dino diversity and dinosaurs. It's like Cadillacs and dinosaurs. So that's what they're going for with this. Again, they are obliterating the expanded universe. They are obliterating the old Republic, as far as I can tell, which is going to rub a lot of Star Wars fans the wrong way and we're thinking well you know what maybe it'll be maybe it'll be okay and then then i read the opening crawl uh the opening crawl should yeah. i read it do you want to read it do you want me to read it I, I, you can read it if you want to go ahead I, you, I already got told i talked too fast so go ahead the force is with the galaxy dun, dun, dun. it is the time of the high republic a peaceful union of like-minded worlds where all voices are heard Space Every, Chaz. Everybody is the same. It is equal. Nobody is special. And governance is achieved through consensus, not coercion or fear. It's a time of ambition, of culture, of inclusion. I can't even. Of great works. Visionary Chancellor Lena So leads the Republic from the elegant city world of Coruscant, located near the bright center of the galactic core. Oh my God, it's Space Chaz. Can we, just, can we just point out something? This is the New Republic, and the New Republic fell. Yeah, it didn't work. So it didn't work. The Jedi they thought this through. No, but beyond the core and its many peaceful colonies, there's the rim, inner <laughs> mid, and it's finally rimmed. the border of what is known the outer rim. rim it's the rim job. They have to. Do, that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna have smugglers. No, the bad people are on the, on, out, on the outer rim because you know they're not the like-minded, peaceful union of all voices being heard. Maybe that's where they're gonna go with this. But you know. What a great concept, all voices being heard. Except when you go to places like Reddit and Twitter, only select voices are allowed to be heard because if you don't have the correct voice, you get banned. My mom got banned off of a sewing board because she didn't have the correct opinion according to whoever ran the board. And all she did was ask a simple question. Yeah, this is this is crazy because this, this says so much. This says so much about where they're probably going to go with this. Now, they could they could totally pull a fast one on readers and be like, yeah, but it turned out that this whole, this utopian uh, republic that they had was actually a bunch of bullshit. Well, that's just what's going to happen yeah. because we already know that it falls apart. It doesn't work. It's like the Titanic. You already know it sinks. Oh, spoiler. <laughs> we need the Empire to come in and bring order. You know? That's and then, right. Then the first order to bring order again. And then the second well, order. Well, they're going to the say it was, it was the tyranny of the Empire that took over and they need to go back to this, this you know, this this idea. But they tried going back to the idea after Return of the Jedi and apparently it didn't work again and we got the first order. Yeah, I, oh God. These worlds are filled with opportunity for those brave enough to travel the few well-mapped hyperspace lanes leading to them. This is a very Well, how is it brave call. if it's well-mapped? You're so brave for following the, the you know, the highway. I am more impressed if you were Lewis and Clark and you were making your own maps, but hell no. There are there are brave people on the well-mapped uh, hyperspace lanes. I love this, though. She's, she's going to reach out with her, her piece. Uh, Chancellor So has pledged to bring the Outer Rim worlds into the embrace of the Republic through ambitious outreach programs, such as the Starlight Beacon. Why is it always a Starlight? It was a Starlight Girls, and another movie with, um, and, and Gem, and there was another movie that had Ellie Sheedy in it. She got, she was like, she got, she was a rich kid, and then I forget what it was called, then she ended up being poor, and it was the Starlight Foundation. They're gonna take the Starlight Express, a giant Oh yeah, Starlight space train. Express, answer me yes. Uh, they're gonna take the space train out to the Outer Rim. shove it in the Outer Rim. So, this, 
doesn't this sound like current year politics? Like, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Those really unenlightened people. We need to have some outreach programs for them. And we're going to go and we're going to bring them into the fold, into our utopia where everybody's equal and nobody hates each other except for the Well, Sith you finish or... reading this and I'll, 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 I'll update it for to make sure it understands. Go ahead. Okay. Order and justice are maintained on the galactic frontier by the Jedi Knights. Guardians of Peace who have mastered incredible abilities stemming from a mysterious energy field known as the Force. The Jedi work closely with the Republic and have agreed to establish outposts in the Outer Rim to help any who might require aid to force their... Uh, force. Th force their Coruscant political opinions onto the people in the Outer Rim who are trying to just kind of do their own thing. Right, so let me translate. Um, go back up to the top paragraph. Okay, so... Um, here, here's the translation. It is a time of, you know, political unrest uh, in, in, in the United States. Um, <laughs> the peaceful left uh, are upset because they, they've been working so hard and now that now they run everything through consensus, um, not coercion or fear like the like the, the right. Um, it's a time of ambition, of culture and inclusion and great works. You know, like we include everyone on Twitter and Reddit, except for the people who don't agree with us and we ban them. But we're not going to pretend like they don't exist. So we have an echo chamber that only only, we only hear our own ideas and then claim we don't know there's other ideas out there. Visionary Chancellor, I don't know, some off of Twitter, leads Twitter, um, you know, leads the Twitter charge across across the internet. And there are there are people on the outer rims, you know, that are out in like YouTube and 4chan. Yeah, places, pla <laughs> yeah, places, places that they that their doctrine doesn't doesn't control. And so now they're going to um, in, in infiltrate. I mean, put out outposts to try to have outreach programs infiltrate um, these places that we don't they don't control, so that they can control those too. Uh, and they wonder why the, the the empire or the empire took over. Yeah, because maybe maybe the republic was wrong. You know, <laughs> maybe basically, they were wrong. Maybe cons that's through consent, their idea of con through consensus, but that means you follow their ideology. That's this is this is the internet, right? This is Twitter in a, in a, in a nutshell. Oh God, this is this is going to be pure cringe. Now, uh, there are rumors uh, rumors circulating about this project. Um, this was supposed to be the the great uh, hope for the future of Star Wars, and it's been pushed back to next year. Now. Uh, I understand they're blaming the coronavirus, but here's the thing. Um, publishing should not be affected. You can still write books from home. You can still have books printed and have them shipped right. from wherever. Right. So to me, this sounds like there are uh, some malfunctions with this project that maybe maybe that Lucasfilm Civil War is spilling over mm -hmm. into this project. Uh, there are rumors that George Lucas is being brought in to try to fix it. I don't know if any of those are true. But there are rumors, but clearly there are bigger issues than just the coronavirus because uh, everybody else can get their shit out. Maybe they're delayed a month or two, but not a year. Right. So this sounds like there's something going on. And if this uh, uh, cringe, this pure cringe crawl is indicative of what this series is going to be about, it's going to be about dueling ideologies. Well, we already saw what was going to be. We saw the character write-ups previously, and they were, like, ridiculous. Like, I'm the, they're the bestest, but they don't know it. They're the most kindest, gentlest, most no, knowledgeable of all, but, you know, but they don't act arrogant. You know, it was like, it was, like, ridiculous. Like, you know, the, yeah. I forget the exact write-ups, but they were, you can go find another one of our videos, but they were just so ridiculous it, it, it was yeah this is like th and this character a lot of people are speculating that they they created her just for brie larson uh to get a, a star wars role because she's been angling for that for a while so who the hell knows um i, I have no interest in this um this is gonna be a turd i mean maybe they can fix it maybe they've gotten you know an extra year they can fix it but at this point i'm just like you know how many people are, are really going to be on board with this when they they basically blew up the expanded universe including the old republic which is very very popular uh for this is that the starlight beacon in the corner is that what that is the starlight express yeah looks like a space dick like a big space dick really i'm not getting that that's like a middle finger but it you does know, it does look like a middle finger i don't get the space dick part sorry um but you know maybe maybe lucasfilm maybe there's help maybe there's hope uh maybe john favreau maybe they should listen to john favreau and and uh, listen to the fans mm -hmm. maybe that's why they're retooling it who the hell knows <laughs> they have a lot of tooling going on <laughs> so. um just th yeah right uh, just throw in some other some other star wars news here while we're at it uh, Oscar Isaac's done unless he needs more money. 
Well, at least he's honest. I'll give him that for being honest. I think this is hilarious. Oscar Isaac said he's done with Star Wars unless he needs another another house or something. Uh, that's a lot of actors. They're like, yeah, I'm never coming back. But how how many millions? Yeah, but that's like, this, this looks so out of touch too because there are people are like talking about like we need how it's uh, um, income inequality and we need you know socialism and all that stuff. And he's like, yeah, I'm done. Unless they give me my first house. Unless they give me another house. Hey, at, <laughs> least, at least he's <laughs> honest. I, you know, I, I, you know yeah. I, I'd be the same way. I'm not gonna lie. I'd be like, well, you know. Shit, I want another house. So why well, they not? destroyed Poe too. I mean, Finn and Poe got treated like yeah. Shit. I would have watched the show. I, I think the movies could have been much better if they had you know made it an actual like like the original trilogy where they all worked together. They had their side quests, but they were still a team. And they kind of just, you know, ruined Finn and Poe just to insert other characters. And then, you know, they never, until the last movie, and then it was too late. They didn't team them up like they should have. Yeah. So, they, they, you know, it could have been a much, much better trilogy, but there's so many ways that could have been much better. Yeah, I'm getting the vibe that a lot of people who worked on that were just sorely disappointed. Uh, and they're going to look back in, in years to come when they're doing conventions, if we still have conventions in, in years to come. Will be, but they're all going to be online now, which is nice in the fact that, you know, there's a lot of conventions we couldn't have gone to normally. Mm. They might be able to go to, but what I'm worried is, are they going to be able to, the, the site's going to stay up. Because there's so many people everywhere who can be like, oh, I can go now because it's online and you don't need a ticket. And then they're going to crash the sites. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. So we're going to wrap this one up. Yep. May the cringe be with you uh, always. And uh, let us know what your thoughts are. Do you think this this thing has any chance of uh, being quasi successful or you just think it's dead in the water? I don't like, know, you know, but always remember all ideas are good as long as they're their ideas. That's right. All right. We'll see you later. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.